Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. Let's try that again. My name is Juggernaut and uh, yesterday evening around this time I had the thought of doing a video on Battlebit Remastered titled something along the lines of best guns in the game or more likely my favourite guns in the game because it's hard to pick the best ones, right? The best ones are the one you like the most, the one you do the best with. It's um, Yeah, sure, some guns are just statistically a little bit stronger than others, but mostly if you're used to the recoil, if you're used to the weapon, then yeah, that one's the best for you. Uh, so, in no particular order, it depends on the range and the class you play, the M200, the P90, honourable mention to the MP5, it occupies the same slot as the... Um... No, that was horrible. It occupies the same slot as the MP... Uh, sorry, as the P90, but um, I actually prefer it to the P90 a little bit. I haven't played with the P90 that much, but I kind of prefer it. Um, because it, it, its damage isn't stellar, its damage drop-off is quite significant, but despite all of that, it's a laser beam, and yeah, you can get some really neat kills at, it, at a distance, and uh, obviously at short range, well, it's an SMG, there you go. As far as long-range weapons are concerned, well, the M200 as a sniper rifle, and then the AK-15, the SCAR, and the FAL. Um, whichever ones you pick. Uh, well, whichever ones you have unlocked. If you have the FAL unlocked, that one's definitely the best. However, it's a late unlock in the game, so until you get it, I would recommend something like the AK-15 or the SCAR. And then, speaking of, this is my weapon of choice. Now, I don't have the foul just yet, but I do have the AK-15, and, uh... Good God, this gun is amazing. And let me just, you know, show you the glory that is the AK-15. First of all, I have something like a thousand kills on this gun. Uh, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, I don't know, I don't remember exactly. But it's a lot. How do I have so many? Well, that right there was part of the reason. You see, forgive me for using Counter-Strike 2 terminology on you, but the AK-15 and the SCAR, they're, like I said, they're pretty similar, but I feel like the AK-15 has much more manageable recoil for the same damage. Uh, well, technically not. With an attachment, the SCAR can have slightly more damage, but it's, it's not a big difference. Fortunately, the game's ended. Let's uh, continue this conversation in the next map. But, um, like I said... The AK-15's recoil at short range is a little bit more manageable, and this is my score with the AK-15 today. Bearing in mind that I'm pretty tired, that this is the third or fourth map I'm playing, that I've played only with the AK-15, and that I've played only as a medic running around. So, don't look at this guy, because he was flying the little bird, right? <laughs> and out of that particular niche branch of people that have played as infantry, I'm top on the server. Oh yeah. You see, that's the thing. The AK-15, I think, is criminally underrated. So instead of doing a video about all of the different weapons that are best in slot, so to say, uh, or rather best at that particular range, let's do a video just about the, just about the AK-15. It's, ma it's recoil, like I said, very manageable. Fire short bursts, um, the magazine capacity is 24 rounds, and I would not recommend going to the extended magazine, because it increases the recoil quite a bit. And, uh, well, we do have some time in the loadout thing, so now I can show you. I don't have a thousand kills, and I have, like, 800 almost, right? This is for 750, this is for 800, I think. I almost have a thousand kills on it. I haven't been playing with it that long. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see, I've used the AK-74, I've used the M4A1 for a tiny bit, nothing special, and then I've used the SCAR for quite a while with the 4X and the red dot on top of it, and then I switched to this little beastie, yeah, almost 800 kills, and then I switched to this little beastie, and it's amazing. You see, you can put a 4X on this thing and use it as a DMR, a designated marksman rifle, but uh, I don't know if I finished this sentence, forgive me for using CS2 lingo on you, you can tap with this rifle. What I mean by tapping? Well, it affects the, effectively it just means using it like a DMR, right? Instead of firing in bursts, you fire single fire, one at a time. 
but it's so good with this weapon, and it's better than any other in class, except for the Foul, because, well, the Foul has more damage. It's better than any one of these. Why? Damage. Just the pure amount of damage this thing dish dishes out. 42. That means two headshots with a red dot, and the target is dead. Now, the Scar and the AK have, the, have an identical damage drop-off. It drops at... 200 meters, I think, to... It starts dropping severely at 200 to 300 meters. At 200 meters, two, three headshots is enough. And, well, forgive me for bragging, but I really don't think it's difficult to land headshots with an AK with a red dot on it. With a 4X, it's a little bit different, but with a red dot, I've been having an insane amount of success. Um, and the sight is, I think, really important, as long as the other, as well as the other attachments, but you really have one choice there when it comes to the other attachments, I mean, um, some of them just make the gun objectively worse. Uh, and I did put a searchlight on it just for the memes, because I don't need a rangefinder, and what the hell am I, what else am I going to put on it, right? This is just, this is just funny. Uh, flash in someone's face in, in close quarters and such. But here's the thing, I'm going to try and demonstrate this. This red dot sight has a really thin plastic thing right around the actual um, glass which means it's easy to spot enemies and you don't have a lot of sight blocking your view so it's you can target acquisition is really easy right you can jump from one target to the next if you train your aim a little bit if you practice a little bit with the recoil of this thing you can hit at this kind of range now obviously the problem here is and I might actually be able to even get this kill. Obviously, the problem at, at a range like this is the damage drop-off, the... Yeah, there's all sorts of problems. <laughs> it's, it's not uh, fool ourselves. This is not the range you use an assault rifle at. But it's also the only gun, apart from the SCAR and the FAL, in class that can actually hit these shots somewhat reliably. And you can win duels against snipers like that at 300 meters, no problem. You see, it fires very quickly. Compared with the fact that you're tapping, you can do one, two, three very quickly at someone. Much faster than a sniper can shoot, use the bolt action rifle, you know, rack the bolt, shoot again. Because the sniper, you will usually, if it shoots you in the chest, will need two shots to kill you. Pair this up with a medic and you heal after each engagement. The AK-15 is probably the best weapon in the game. Oh, and I'm not saying this lightly. It's probably the most universal weapon in the game too, because you have everything. You have medium range of up to two, three, even 400 meters. And then if that's, you know, out of the question, short range is bloody awesome. The gun has a decent firing rate, but again, you couple that with the most amazing damage an assault rifle can have, all of a sudden, all those SMGs that blurt out like 300 rounds a second or whatever, are meaningless. Of course, I would say that the AK is a fairly high skill ceiling weapon, and by that I mean that usually to win your one-on-one -on -one engagements against the P90s and stuff like that, you need to be hitting headshots. And, yes, that's not the easiest thing to do, fair enough, but you can do it. And with this sight, it's very easy to line them up, too. Ah, that's a shame. Hit me right square on the nose, eh? Oh, there you go. Oh, I shouldn't have given up. Thanks, buddy. We have enemy snipers on the other end. Um... We're going to leave our snipers to deal with them, and we're going to go and uh, look towards greener pastures for our targets. And this is kind of like the extreme. I'm really pushing this gun to, to try and convince you and then sell you on this. Don't get me wrong, the P90 is great. The Chris Vector, even after the nerf, the nerf is still a pretty good gun at close quarters. But find me a better gun that you can shoot long range and close quarters, that you can tap at a distance and win duels against snipers, and you can walk up to SMG wielders and just shoot them in the face and win. You'd be hard pressed to find a single weapon that can do that. Sure, the M249 is great at medium range, has a high rate of fire, and recoil's easy to control, and all of that, and 
large ammo capacity, yeah, it's a good gun, it comes with the support class, which is pretty terrible, but other than that, I mean, it's extremely useful to the team if you run out of ammo and everyone want to build stuff, yes, but in terms of one-on-one -on -one engagements, it's, it's not that great. But with the AK-15, I can hit targets over there. No problem, just aim a teeny tiny bit above their heads and there you go. You can put a 4x on it, like I said, it will work. I just prefer it like this for close quarters combat. The dots uh, and the, the like hollows and the dots that you get as a secondary sight or as a canted sight on rifles just don't really seem all that great to me. Um, I don't love the fact that they're at a 45 degree angle, it makes compensating for recoil a little bit more difficult and a little bit more awkward and I just find that I'd rather use my eyes to spot targets like this at 400 meters rather than try and use a try and force a 4x into the equation. Although on a map like this where there's lots of cover and lots of distance, yeah 4x would probably be uh, a little bit better but you can change that, you know, since it's not like you're stuck with one or the other for the rest of your life as soon as you pick one. And that's really the point here, because, nah, I, I had to lose to the MP5, right? But I fired late and I nearly killed him too. And then, as much as I dislike using this as a, as a selling point for the gun, you get a lot of assist kills with this thing if you don't hit all your targets. Let's say you have some problems hitting your, your shots, you're still new to the game, you're still learning. Mind you, I'm not the greatest player by any stretch of the imagination, but you get the idea. Not everyone can heal, I guess I should have fought there. But you get the, the, the general idea, right? Well, what happens then? Well, assist kills. And assists that count as kills. And a lot of them. Why? Well, all you need to do is you need to land two shots, right? And oftentimes that's incredibly easy to do. So, there you go. Just something to consider, I suppose. Yeah. I'm really pushing it there against like 4Xs and, and 8X scopes and stuff like that. I'm really, I really have nothing to look for in uh, with, a, with a red dot, but still. You can do it. And I love hitting glinting snipers with this thing. But it leaves them very confused how someone is shooting them so quickly. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a, a phenomenal rifle, and I think it's criminally underpowered, uh, criminally um, underrated. It really, really is. The scar, like I said, similar, but the recoil for me is a bit too much at close quarters. Uh, the gun just jumps too high if you want to sustain fire. Now, the AK-15 does that as well, but I feel like it's more manageable, and you can learn the recoil pattern, and you can sort of adjust for that a heck of a lot better than you can for the SCAR. Man, this is bloody unplayable. I swear to God, like, 90% of the teams are snipers, and boy, does it show. Alright, but anyways... Um, the previous battle I showed you, I had like, what, 40-something kills and a handful of deaths. Um, the game previous to that one, I mean, there's, this is just a sniper duel map, but there's, there's nothing else to do in this game. There is just, it's just everyone is sniping, and this is not exactly going to work. But I showed you, like, the previous game, 42-17, uh, I think. The game before that, I was... 50 something to 15 or whatever. Mind you, okay, I was fairly lucky and I did held a, a really interesting position where I could, you know, land a whole bunch of headshots on the enemy and they, they could barely see me and we were defending the sea site and etc. etc. Yeah, fair enough. It was it was a, a very lucky game and I won't be able to replicate it probably anytime soon, but 30, 40 kills for like a dozen deaths with this gun? comes easy. I'm not even hyper-focused, I'm talking while I'm recording, I'm, I'm recording, I'm talking while I'm playing, and I'm listening to music while I'm playing, and I'm getting these results relatively consistently. So, yeah, like I said, definitely a gun to consider. Um, especially, more so, because you get it so early on, and 
all of the like really best guns in the game, this was horrible shooting, but like I said, I'm really not focusing. All of the like the really best of the best guns in the game, you get very late or you get very late into the grind. I didn't hear him, because I'm talking. <laughs> Um, you get very late into the game. This one you get, like, at rank 15. That's nothing. That's, like, an hour of playing or so. Okay, maybe a bit more, but that's still nothing. We're going the wrong way, mate. Yeah. And from rank 15, you have yourself the ideal weapon for most of the game. Now, do I expect everyone to just use the AK-15 until they reach rank 150? Absolutely not. You want to spice things up, you want to change things around. Of course. But you can change things around with an M200, or uh, any of the other snipers, and... All of a sudden, you are backpadding. You really are. And with the upcoming clan, clans and everything, well, stat padding is something I think we could all use a little bit of, right? Or rather, with the upcoming changes to the clan system, and uh, we, that becoming a little bit more influential and important. Yeah, there you go. Tell me what you think. Um, this was always going to be like a very, very short video. I don't have a lot to s That was incredibly stupid of me, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a dog dog. All right. So, anyways, um, as I was saying, <laughs> it's a great gun. Is that ours? It's really hard to tell at this difference. At this difference. At this distance. Um, all right. That's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think about the AK-15. For me one of the best weapons in the game, and I think so many people overlook it because they're they're excited for the new unlocks on one end. On the other, the Chris Vector was overpowered in this game for so long that everyone just now assumes that we need the next Chris Vector, and they look at the MP5 or the P90 and they think, ah, yeah, that's it. Those guns are amazing, but they're SMGs. They come with their own problems. Now, oftentimes, is the damage drop-off enough to make the MP5 or the P90 not great at long range? Oftentimes, no. Like, those guns can be absolute lasers with high rate of fire, and P90 with its amazing magazine capacity as well. Ugh, beautiful. But, this gun can tap. It can tap at very, very lo long ranges, and... There you go. To be fair, I could have sprayed those two down, but it's besides the point, right? You, you get the, 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 the whole idea of what I'm saying. I could have been like another 100 meters away and I would have tapped them on the head, and then that's it. It is a high skill ceiling gun, you need to learn to use it, you need to improve your aim, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I would probably recommend using some software to improve your aim, right? To practice a little bit, like aim labs or uh, some CS maps or something, you know, try and, and work on your aim a little bit with this thing, li line up those sh headshots a little bit better, and you will see just how great this gun is. Uh, I'm going to be practicing myself, I'm not ideal with it, like I said. I don't, try, I don't want to try and come off as some sort of uh, holier-than-thou amazing expert, but it's just that in my... Rather subjective opinion, and, well, somewhat significant playtime, and somewhat significant rank of 130 or so, at the time of recording. I would say that this gun is pretty bloody amazing, and that you shouldn't sleep on it. Ah, oh, that's a shame, I had like another two kills lined up, and I don't see you. Shame. Either way, that's about it from me. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and want to stay tuned with the rest of the content that I produce on this channel, which is mostly Let's Plays and first impressions and stuff like that, but occasionally I'll do videos like this as well. Till next time, have fun, take care, and bye bye I swear to you I ended the recording just as I got six kills at that box right there. Most of them headshots. There was a whole bunch of people here waiting to resupply on ammo. They did not get the chance. God damn it. That would have been a beautiful way to end the video, but...
Shame. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> Anyways, try the gun. Um, definitely try the gun and tell me what you think. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just, you know, I like it for some odd personal reasons and uh, it's actually not that great. Don't know. You tell me. But until next time, have fun. Take care. Bye-bye. Like I said. <laughs>